today's video is going to be on how to create one of these Hot Wheels display stands. I'll show a video of how it came out. I actually did one just out of wood and then the other one I did out of wood as well but then I used a water slide paper to put some colour to it. I just wanted to show how I did both basically. So what I did was in Photoshop I went to open and opened up the picture that I wanted to use. This was the one I went with. You can just take you know, a, an image of the package off of Google and then I actually made this one up. This was somebody who came to my studio and I put the photos together on here just for a little edit for him. But this is the one I'm going to use. If you don't see this ruler up the top here under window you can either tick ruler or you press control and R yeah, and it will bring the rulers up. Then if you want to change it, because sometimes it's in pixels, just right click somewhere on the bar. Then you can change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to put mine to inches. With this, it's a pretty simple one. I'm just going to quickly use the pen tool to cut out the background. Trace all the way around now. With the pen tool still selected, I'm going to say make selection. Zero radius. Control and C to copy and Control and V to paste. So now I have this. If you press Control and hover over the top of the image, click, it will bring this line back up, make a new layer, and then go to Edit, Stroke, and yeah, your three pixels is fine. I'll go on in the center. So now if I turn this off, I've also got my outline for the laser cutter. Uh, what I'd like to do now is, because I've got to print this out, go to File, New, make a new file the size of your piece of paper. Mine is A4 paper, so 11 by 8.5, which will open up this. Now, with your layer selected, with your graphic on it, copy, Control and C, and then Control and V to paste. And... If you, like this, you know, if you want to know the size, what I normally do is I'll put one here if I want it to be, say, three and a half inches wide or around that. That's, you know, I can put the two rulers here and then with Control and T, I can just drag it out to the size. And then all I've got to do is make sure whatever size I make this, I have the same size in light burn so I know no, that's 3.507 I'll write that down okay so this one's ready to print now and then I'll turn this off the other one I'll go file export save as a quick PNG so now I'm going to go to light burn new Hot Wheels PNG I'm going to right click on it trace image I'm going to del delete this image because we've got this now. I'm going to zoom in a bit here. And I'm going to hold shift and draw a line. That is three and a half inches long. So I'm going to draw a line. Click it. And then up here. 3.507. So that's how wide the package wants to be. So now I'm going to select the package. Scale it down. And move it over. Yeah. And you can see that's perfectly aligned there. And that's pretty good there. So this matches up with my uh, print out now. Oh, on this as well, you, you have to ungroup it. If you zoom in, and I'll turn this onto a line, you can see it's actually two lines. I like to just delete the inside one out of the two. Okay, so this is the paper I'm using. This is the white background, and this one's the clear. But they're both the same koala water slide decal paper. This is the stuff I'm using, Cryolon Clear. Yeah, so just a little light coat, really. Okay, so I'm out now on the longer Ray 5 10 watt laser. And then for speed and power to cut the wood, we'll do a 100 speed. 
in a 100 power. I'm going to turn my air assist on from over here. Optional, the DY30A air pump. It comes with this valve, so you can just cut it off. So if you're cutting, I suggest putting the air on. And I'm using absolute, absolute coordinates. So wherever I put this is roughly where it's going to be on there. So you can see I've got it right in this bottom corner. If I click frame, it's going to frame actually where it's going. I'm going to check my height, which I think is correct. And you'll see there's just a slot in the back for the height. Now put on the glasses and click start. This is four millimeter birch plywood, so. Just cut right around it and then line it right up on that graphic. And now it should go in the stand, no problem. Now, there it goes. People said warm water is good, so I'm going to add a little bit of hot water in there with it. So when you drop the decal in here, it wants to curl up, so just try and stop it from curling up. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to oh, pull that off. I'm going to hold this down the bottom here. Hopefully slide this paper right out. Nice and straight. And then this paper, the side that's all slimy, give it a little tiny dip, and then you can use it to flatten this out. Now, that's how it looks at the moment. So now I'm just gonna give this a minute to dry. If you, anyone's interested in finding out how to make these, you know, the design on the package like this, because I've done the design myself, if you want me to make a video on how to do it, let me know, and I will. It probably takes like 15, 20 minutes, I guess, depending how many pictures you're having on there and stuff. Okay, these little tiny bits that are hanging over, I'm just going to leave this to dry. If anything, I'm going to trim them off afterwards, so. <coughs> okay, and there you can see them finished. That one's just straight, done in wood. That's the one with the white decal paper. And this is the clear decal paper, which did kind of go okay, but it's just a lot thinner, it seems, this stuff. This, you've got a bit more of a film. So yeah, that's how they come out. I mean, you can make them, you know, any size you want. I actually made some of these really big before to hold Hot Wheels. But you can see actually the Hot Wheels on there because this one was an actual Hot Wheels size package. If I line it up with the truck, you can see it's exactly the size of that truck. So yeah, just wanted to show you could do that. And thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.